This episode of DoD TV is brought to you by RTP Outdoors, home of the groundbreaking Groundbreaker 3 in 1 food plot implement. Well, deer season 22 is uh, fast approaching, and we get into this time of the year, and it's really about getting food in the ground, not uh, beans and corn, but our biologics. So we really focus on deer radishes, winter bulbs and sugar beets, last bite, winter grass. All four of those have a different purpose for us. We really put the radishes in a place we feel like we're gonna succeed early season. We put the winter bulbs and sugar beets more in for a destination uh, feed field or perhaps to split up two different food products. Winter grass, oftentimes walking plots. And then last bite, we try to establish next year's clover fields wherever we plant last bite. We add in biologic non-typical clover to that particular mix. So we've got a purpose for all of them. Uh, we'll probably put them all in with the Groundbreaker series from RTP this year. We've got a lot of different satellite farms, so we'll be going some different directions. And uh, there's no doubt about it, that's the quickest way to get them done for us. Some of it we're going to no-till with a Genesis, and some of it we're going to put in with the Groundbreaker 9 if the dirt requires to be worked. So it kind of comes down to the size of the field as to which uh, implement we'll be using. in the background there this is a plot we've had good luck on through the years specifically the last two years last year we killed disappearing act here uh, we also killed bw here the year before so this one's an important one and the rtp groundbreaker is perfect for this one because it's remote you can use any seed you want to we're going to throw it in throw some fertilizer on it and this one's going to be ready to go for the season all we need is mother nature to help out a little bit we've been dry here in the midwest i'm sure anybody else watching this that's in the midwest right now if you haven't gotten lucky and gotten some of these rains you know what i'm talking about it's extremely dry so we'll get this one in and then uh, move on to some other ones that's the thing about it quick hit get it in move on good pictures and I hope everybody's getting their plots in and I hope you're getting more rain than we are man are we dry I mean it is as dry as I've seen it in a long time sad I don't even want to say those three nasty letters we all know what I'm talking about but I'm worried about it Mark's working this plot up with the groundbreaker 9 from RTP and we like the groundbreaker on these specific plots that are a little bit smaller you get the disc, you get the culture packer all in one. And on our bigger plots, we like to use the Genesis from RTP, a no-till drill. Spray them, drill them, get them in, and be ready for fall. I think at the end of the day, the success or failure when it comes to a food plot, especially a fall planting, comes down to a few different things. Number one, getting the seed rate correct. Number two, having the correct pH. Number three, having the correct fertilizer applied. Number four, having the correct seed bed. If you look behind me, I went over this twice with the groundbreaker. Uh, once to cut it deep. The second time, I raised it with that three-point hitch a little bit higher. The disc was barely touching the ground and the cultipacker was barely touching the ground. And it looks like I tilled this. 
Um, when it comes to the correct seed bed, you got to keep it nice and, and level. You got to have it chopped up like this, and then you want it very firm. That's where the cultipacker comes in. We're going to firm it up now, add seed to it, on to the next one. Make sure you have all of those things correct, and you will end up not being disappointed when you walk in there October 1st and your plot doesn't look very good. You got to do it right, don't cut any edges, and uh, you can grow really good green. And finally, most importantly, you got to have some rain. DeerCast is now supercharged with maps. Get ahead of your game with killer new features like live Doppler radar, wind check out to five days, virtual rain gauges, GPS path tracking, and more. Plus, get our 14-day revolutionary DeerCast prediction and access to DeerCast track. Prep, predict, and pursue with DeerCast. Well, it looks like the guys up in Iowa put the RTP groundbreaker to work. That thing has been an absolute game changer for us. Based on the Recon XL cameras, the rain has hit, the deer are moving, and all is good in the world. DeerCast Rain Station helped us look out into the future, see what we were about to get. And then, of course, as the rain was coming through, radar let us know exactly what we were getting as we were getting it. Came in pretty clutch. So we're gonna head up to the new farm and see what that mad dash looked like. I know Mark and his crew put in a ton of food plots. Forrest, Terry, those guys got a ton in. And of course, Scott, Alan, myself, we had a bunch of work here to do in the St. Louis area. So after that, we're gonna join up with Forrest and see how he's been watering his food plots during that big summer drought leading up to this rain event. All right, so back up here at the farm today. Uh, it's Friday, we were here Tuesday and dissed everything up and got everything kind of ready to go. Uh, I had to swing by the lease this morning and get things all set and ready for our food plot uh, to put in all our food plots over there. While I was doing that, Scott came up here and he got all the final prep work done and I think he, uh, he got the seed bed ready to go. So now all we gotta do is uh, put some seed coat on the last bite, and I think we're gonna plant some radishes as well uh, from Biologic, and that's all she wrote here. When we were here on Tuesday, the reason why we didn't do all this, I was looking at the 14-day forecast in the rain station, and there was no rain for the next two weeks. Getting ready the next morning, and I looked at it again, and the forecast had changed, and it called, it was calling for an inch, a little over an inch of rain, so uh, of course I text Scott and say, hey, and then we gotta scramble and get everything in the ground before that rain hits on Monday night and Tuesday. So we're gonna get this done. Luckily we had most of it prepared and ready. And then we're gonna switch focus and go over to Marthasville at the lease and get everything prepared there. We're getting close now and uh, I can almost smell fall in front of me. And then you just kind of mix it in. And basically, it's just exactly what it says it is. It's a seed coat. I got one bag loaded up. He's got two more bags here. So after we get those two in, we should be good to go. Okay, we're out here this morning in Marthasville. We actually got the Wellsville farm completely planted on Friday. So we're gonna do the same here in Marthasville, try and get all these plots knocked out before this rain comes. Such a beautiful day out. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better day, better time to plant. Deer season 22 is coming, so let's get it. So I just took a uh, little trip here around the food plot and I got my deer cast path tracker out. What I'm doing is I was just confirming that it's the size that I think it is. I know I got about a half acre to plant. I got plenty of seed. Everything's prepped and ready, so let's do this. What do you think, Alan? It's looking pretty good. Just need some rain, so it's getting pretty cloudy, so I don't know if we're gonna get any today, but they're forecasting on deer cast some rain tomorrow night and then to Tuesday. You know, a couple days from now, so hopefully get some rain and get this germinated. And uh, I think these food plots are going to look real good by the time the season gets here. How did we do today? It was a good day. Pretty productive. We got a uh, yeah. food plots look pretty good. Yeah. So three different food plots planted out here at Marthasville. 
hot corner tomorrow and then we got rain coming Monday night. So good timing and hopefully everything germinates and grows well. So here's what we're doing. Got this field planted and I'm uh, gonna turn the hot wire off. Still going strong. And we're gonna shift this. We're gonna move the corner posts. I'm gonna pull those posts there, move them over to here. And we're gonna fence this in. What that's gonna do is we're pretty dry right now. We're gonna have to water this plot probably. So it's gonna keep the deer pressure off of it. This is one of our most important plots this year. Our number one target deer has been in, uh, in here the last couple of years. So we're really trying to get this plot looking really good. So gonna pull those get them moved over to the corner over there drive them back in start watering this plot hopefully we get a good uh, good biologic field here and we kill a big one on it come september so walking these ones over that stretch straight there give me a little bit longer all right that will make it work We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by MOTV. Head on over to the MOTV app for this full episode of 13 and all of season seven today.